fire away. How did you feel the tempo was out there tonight? Uh, I, was, I mean, good for the most part. I mean, I, I think there's some things to, to clean up. Um, you know, I mean, we're, we're a movement-based team, you know, I mean, in transition and in the half court. And I think in the half court, you know, we got a little bit stagnant for stretches. And, uh, you know, and, and, and we'll get back to refocusing on ways we can move and, and, and things of that nature, you know, this week. You know, we got another good week of growth, hopefully, in us. What's, what's going to be a good shot? Well, you know, I mean, a, a, a good shot, uh, you know, a great shot for that individual. And, you know, I mean, obviously these guys are, you know, they're, 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 they're feeling pretty good about themselves right now and, and, and shooting some shots. You know, my, my, my biggest deal is we can't settle. You know, I, I think you, you want guys comfortable and hunting good shots for them, but we can't settle. And then, you know, then there's, so there's a context in shooting, which relates to, you know, time and score, fouls, things of that nature. You know, I, I felt like, you know, that they, they really softened their defense you know, over the course of that game, and we settled for a lot of threes. And, uh, you know, individually, you know, I, I talked a little bit to the, some of the guys during the game, and, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll try to clean that up this week. But, you know, I don't want to take their confidence in their spirit. I mean, you know, I mean, you, you want guys, when they shoot shots, you want them feeling comfortable that they can make them. You know, I don't want them sitting there questioning themselves. I'll just try to maybe help them have a little better framework for making that decision. When you look back on the St. Mary's scrimmage and then tonight, what do you think your guys need to work on? Well, I mean, what what do we need to work on, or what did we? Well, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I thought from St. Mary's to this, we were much better just defensively, not with effort, but just clean and, and not fouling as much. You know, I mean, you you can you can pressure and be aggressive, but if you're fouling, you know, it negates hustle, and then you know the teams are going to shoot a bunch of free throws, which you know is the easiest way to score. So I, I thought we made gains there, and then you know. Uh, offensively, I mean, we, we finished a little bit better than we did against St. Mary's, but I still think there's room for growth there as well. How long does it take for time and circumstance to, to kick in? Well, I mean, I mean, it, it's a it's it's a it's a, it's a constant ev evolution and evolving thing, you know. With that, that's the beautiful thing about basketball. It's a it's a complex game with lots of moving parts. So, um, you know. Maybe the same shot one game, you know, in one, one situation, the same shot the next game isn't a good shot. It's a good shot one game. So it's it's a little bit of a feel thing. And uh, but but part of it is, you know, you you want you want to get the game going up and down a little bit because, you know, that's when it loosens up and you get you know some some easy baskets in transition. Uh, were you concerned with the turnover number? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I was. You know, our bigs turned the ball over too much. You know, in this offense, the the bigs have to handle the ball a lot. And you know, I mean, there, there's. Um, you know, th th that can be concerning if they're turning it over. I mean, you know, b bigs tend to have high turnovers numbers in this system, so we've definitely got to work to to get them lower. I think our bigs combined in the first half had eight turnovers. And, um, you know, and, and I think eight of I think we had 11. And, and we did a much better job taking care of the ball in the second half. But, uh, you know, I think, you know, if, if you go back and look at those turnovers, you know, it's an illegal screen here, an illegal screen there, uh, forcing the ball into the post here and there, that type of stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely address that on film this week. Not specific to tonight, but what are your, what's your biggest concern? Um, you know, I mean, I don't, th I don't think I have any, you know, you know concerns, you know, other than a coach <laughs> heading into starting a season just to hope your team's, you know, ready to compete. And, you know, and, and, and at the end of the day, I think at the start of the year, you're, you're, when it starts coming to games, your, your biggest concern is how do guys respond to adversity? And, you know, are they able to make adjustments in game? Are they able to execute a plan that you've put in place for that game? I mean, those are the things you practice and you go over and practice, but, you know, they got to show when the lights are on. So, I mean, just keep growing in that area. But, you know, I thought Ben really, you know, showed me something this week. I mean, you know, he didn't necessarily have, you know, the best scrimmage or even the best week of practice, a couple of weeks of practice overall, but he kind of was trending up as we approached this thing. And he just really showed me just a different level of control um, and pace that he was playing with today that, that, that I think is going to really serve him and serve us well. Dixon had a double-double tonight and seemed really aggressive on the boards. How important is he for this team moving forward? Well, I mean, Christian's, uh, I mean, I, I think Christian has potential to be an all-conference player. Um, you know, I mean, obviously Christian had a great stat line, but but I got really high expectations for him. I didn't feel like he played his best game today. And, um, you know, I thought there was a couple, you know, scenarios there, and I'm nitpicking, but where, you know, I thought he reverted a little bit. But, you know, Christian worked really hard this offseason, and, he, and he's really had a good fall camp for us. And but But having a fall camp and having a good season are two different things. So now we need the things he did in fall camp 
to, to translate to these games where he really gets his confidence and understands how good of a player he is. And, uh, and you know, I expect Christian to be as productive as he was tonight all season. Was that on the three just one time? It was an exhibition game. Does he have that in him? Um, I mean, I, I remember him shooting one other three in a similar circumstance in an uh, inter-squad scrimmage we had earlier in the year, and he airballed. And I told him, there goes your one chance. And uh, so good for him. I mean, he's uh, he's really worked hard. And I mean, and, and he's changed his shot. I mean, we're hoping that'll translate. I mean, the three is great. I, I'm more concerned about the free throw percentage. You know, I mean, I think that's where there's going to be more free throws than threes. So, um, um, you know, good for him. But he's worked hard. And, and then we let go of that shot. And it looked into me the moment it left his hand. Just how deep could you go? You have a lot of the same similar players. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I think that's going you know, to be a little bit of a work in progress. And, you know, hopefully we're adding Pella back more by more, week by week. And I think, you know, Pella is a really good player. And he fills a lot of gaps. And he, he gives us a lot of lineup versatility. And um, so, you know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm comfortable, you know, I mean, and I'm comfortable with Adama and Shane. I think those guys are growing. And if they get opportunities, they're, they're going to perform. I mean, they're young. Um, you know, so they, they're maybe a little bit excited. And, you know, I think you guys – See, Adama has uh, he has something special in him. You know, I don't know how much we're going to see it this year, but moving forward, I mean, I think this kid's going to be really, really good. And uh, I, I, I think the same thing with Shane. I mean, you know, Shane kind of got baited into taking a couple threes, and he's worked hard on his shot. I don't know if, if it's that he needs to hang his hat on that yet, but I think that drive he had in the first half where he kind of cut across the lane with his left hand and kissed it off the glass is something he could do a lot of. Led the team and made three pointers. What do you think of his performance tonight? I thought Justin played like a veteran. He played with a good pace. Um, you know, he's kind of playing a little bit more point guard um, than he has, and um, you know, he kind of grown there. And, and and I think there's still room to grow. Um, but I, I love the pace that he was shooting with. And uh, you know, I mean, and, and and when you have that type of movement and you're and on your offense and you're forcing defenses to to make decisions, you know, you need guys that are ready to shoot and to make them pay. And and I, and I thought all his shots were spot on today. I was really happy with the way he played. Yeah, other than working Pelo back in, I mean, do you feel like the rotation you, you went with tonight, did you, or, and, and maybe against St. Mary's, I mean, do you feel like you have a pretty good feel for what you're going to start? Yeah, with? I mean, I mean, obviously, you start getting the real games, it, it, it always tightens up a little bit, you know. Um, you know, but but yeah, but I, but I but I'm feeling good about it. And hey, I mean, Kerr's really a good shooter, and I felt comfortable with most all his shots tonight. And uh, you know, I mean, uh, I don't know what is that. My eyes are getting bad. I mean, I think that's his one for eight. Uh, a one for eight could turn into a five for eight. You know, for him really easily. So um, I, I love when he's hunting threes like that. Now we just got to get when he hunts a three. Our guys can't assume he's going to make them. We got to go get super aggressive on the glass and and, and you know kind of ha have his back there with how we offensive rebound on his three point attempt. How much responsibility do you put on Kerr to kind of dictate the pace and to, to run the offense? Um, well, I mean a lot, but I put I think I put a lot on everybody. You know, I mean we want to play north south in transition. Um, you know, and, and and I think we'll 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 start getting more comfortable getting into our our automatic reads our actions in transition, you know, we'll, we'll get more and more comfortable getting in so we can get a little bit more flow in our offense as we get going there. But but Kerr, one of the things about him, he he naturally plays fast. And and, and that's something that I really, really like about him. Do you have to tell him to like slow down at all? Well, I mean, for sure. I mean, I, I think as he, you know, I mean, there, there's ways you could slow down. It's just with a simple jump stop. You know, w w once we get, you know, going, you know, you know, Boom, boom, boom. There's nothing wrong with mixing in a jump stop and seeing what happens. And, and I think that's kind of the next area for growth for him. So can you explain you and your team's excitement for the season to really start? Hmm. You know, I mean, I, mean, I, I, mean, I, I love where we're at, but, but as far as, like, jubilation, no. I mean, I think we're in work mode right now. You know, we're, we're in, like, hey, let's get better day to day and, you know, let's have another good week of work and, you know, maybe start working on more game-like situations. We've got a lot of things in. Now it's time to refine and recycle and clean up a lot of these things going forward. So, I mean, that, that's where my mind it goes right to. I mean, I'm looking forward to practice on Wednesday, film on Wednesday, individual meetings with guys, and, and let's get better. A lot of depth on the wings. You mentioned Shane and Dom, and I, I, I know I seem to recall there was even though it's silly to ask this, there was some talk that maybe Adama might even redshirt or something. Is that still possible? Are you seeing that? I mean, I, I don't. I mean, no. I, I, that's not the plan. I mean, um, 
never been a plan of mine. I mean, I, I, I mean, you know, I mean, maybe there are certain years you could redshirt him. I don't know if we have enough depth to redshirt him, and I think he's a good player. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I mean, he just, hey, I mean, I'll just, he's one of the quickest learners I've ever seen for a young kid, which is one of the greatest skills you can have when you're a developing player. So, um, I'm really excited, you know, to see where he goes over the course of the season and how it plays out. But but I'm really excited to see what he looks like a year from now. You could see some spots, even with the depth you have, where those guys can maybe help you in certain situations. For sure, for certain situations. I mean, I want to reward those guys and give them some opportunities here and there. Um, you know, I've talked to them. I think they know that you know that that you know that they're they're it, it, they're they're th there's a long term plan for both of them in this program. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, you the you know you're you're one unfortunate play away from you know the your, your depth shrinking. And, and those guys need to be available, and they need to be ready, and they need to prepare as such. Well, and, and you mentioned Pell, is he, I, he's still on track? Probably. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he, he, he practiced, you know, last week, and, you know, he's been getting in some scrimmaging and, and things of that nature. So, um, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, Pella is going to be, I mean, my, my guess would be he'll be playing that first game. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not J-Rock, you know, and I n would never profess to be, but, uh We'll, we'll see where that goes, but but that's kind of what, what I think it's trending towards. Well, it seems like when he gets back, you you got uh, you know for that two or three or whatever you want to call it with him and Dalen, you started tonight, and then Justin was playing. Yeah. I mean, is that kind of a good problem to have there? I mean, I, I don't think that I wouldn't even put problem in that sentence. I think that's a great thing, and you know I think that as we get going here, we're gonna. You know, when he kind of starts playing more, I think we'll kind of, you know, experiment with some different lineups and smaller lineups with four guards out there. I think we can be really effective at that. And, uh, you know, and, and, and I look forward to growing some some packages just to give us some lineup versatility. Yeah, you had uh, Zulis in at the five and briefly at least. I mean, yeah, does I mean, that mean something? I mean, Zulis is a five man. I mean, he's a modern day basketball five who can play some four. He, he's a good player. I mean, you know, I think the biggest, one of the biggest, you know, areas of growth for him this off season was his perimeter defense, you know, and, 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 and in defense overall, but especially on the perimeter because it's hard to play with him at the four, you know, if he can't switch or he has trouble guarding a skilled four. And um, he's, I think he's really, really grown there. And, you know, he had a couple times today where he got down in a stance or even off the ball, he was in the right position. So I was really happy with that. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, have a good one. See you in a week.